Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you tetration, pentation, hexation, heptation, octation, and so on. And how fast does things get by adding just an additional arrow. So um, first of all, we can start at exponentiation. So one arrow is just exponentiation. Three arrow three is just three to the three, which is 27. Very straightforward. And then two arrow is tetration. So three double arrow three is three arrow three arrow three or three to the three to the three. You start from the top to the bottom. So this is three to the 27, which is around 7.6 trillion. So it is already a pretty quick escalation from one arrow to two arrow. You go from 27 to 7.6 trillion. And 7.6 trillion is a pretty big number already. And then next three arrows is pentation. So three triple arrow three is three double arrow three double arrow three, which is a power tower of threes, which is 7.6 trillion levels high. As you can see, the escalation, it's even crazier, you know, from two arrow to three arrow. So you go from 7.6 trillion to this number is already no words to describe this. And then the next one is um, four arrows. So three, four arrows, three, uh, four arrows is hexation, which is equal to three triple arrow, three triple arrow, three. And this is equal to three double arrow, three double arrow, three double arrow, three for three triple arrow, three number of times. And, you know, each additional arrow, as you can see, brings you to a much crazier uh, world. So, I mean, the difference between these two is big. And the difference between these two is even bigger. And the difference between these two is unimaginably bigger than the previous two levels. Um, so, I mean, not sure if you can imagine that, but uh, hopefully you can get it. And as I can show you in the next uh, level, so three, five arrows, three. I actually have videos on these before. You can check them out. This is equal to three, four arrows, three, four arrows, three, and five arrows is heptation. So how crazy is heptation? So th up to this point is still, I mean, not too hard to write it down so far, but next it's getting difficult to even write it down in terms of threes. You know, if you want to write down threes in term of power towers. So this is what it looks like. So actually this thing, this just this part over here, it represents three, four arrows, three, and you probably have seen this before. So you do the top tower, you know, it's something like that, three to the three to the three. And then the next level, it's, you know, the number of three in this tower is three to the three to the three, which is 7.6 trillion. So this level has 7.6 trillion number of threes. And then the next tower, the number of three is determined by the answer of the tower above. So you calculate all these, uh, you know, number and then, this is the number of threes for the next level and you repeat that so on and so forth. And the number of levels for this operation is three triple arrow three. And this is three, four arrows three. This is already <laughs> crazy. It's hard to imagine how big this is. And then for five arrows, it actually looks something like this. It's basically as, I mean, if, if you understand these numbers or arrows, then you can kind of tell what's going on. You basically repeat the previous process for this number of times so you add one more arrow over here that's the number of times you have to repeat the previous operation so you just bring this whole thing here to here and basically you start from the right again so you do this whole thing and this number would be the number of times or number of levels you have to do this thing and then you repeat that process so this number represent the number of times you have to repeat that and how many times you go this way, it's three, four arrows, three. This is three, five arrows, three. Next is three, six arrows, three. You can write it this way. This is called uh, six arrows is octation. And this is even messier as you can see. So again, you repeat, you bring over the last, the whole thing from the last operation and you put it here. And now, well, it's getting complicated now, and you repeat the, this number in here now, you, you know, it's basically how many times you have to repeat uh, the next thing over here, and then so on and so forth, and you do that all the way for three, five arrows, three number of times. So it's very messy. It's hard to write it this way anymore. So next one, three, seven arrows, three. Um, so basically, there's a name of it, uh, but I didn't write it down. 
you can look at Google Logic Wiki. So basically, again, you bring this whole thing from the previous process, you bring it here, and then you just repeat it again and again and again, this whole thing repeating for this many times. You add one more arrow over here. So three, six arrows, three number of times. And you can feel free to pause the video to see how messy this is. I mean, I kind of simplify a lot already. And then next, try to imagine three, eight arrows, three. Uh, I mean, there's no more room in this paper. I think that's probably the limit. I can, you know, I can try to write this on a piece of paper. Probably three arrows, nine, nine arrows or ten arrows. Then I probably cannot even fit in this paper in this format. Again, I'm not calculating these numbers. I'm just trying to write it down, represent it in terms of a power tower of three. Um, so basically, eight arrows, you just repeat this whole thing for three, seven arrows, three number of times. And then the next one, nine arrows, you repeat the eight arrow thing for, um, I mean, for eight, <laughs> three, eight arrow, three number of times, basically, so on and so forth. And pretty much, pretty mind blowing. And now imagine three, ten arrows, three, it will be a lot messier again. And this is just ten arrows. I mean, the number of arrows is still countable. Now think about let's say G2 in grams number. G2 has G1 number of arrows. So imagine, you know, 10 arrows is already very, very, very messy in just this format. What about G1 number of arrows? So G1 itself is a huge number, way more than the number of atoms or whatever Planck volumes in the observable universe. So imagine what that would look like in just in terms of power tower itself. And even 3 triple arrow 3 is, again is already a very big number. 3 triple arrow 3 is already way bigger than the number of Planck volumes in the observable universe. Uh, but in this form is pretty, I mean, it's pretty simple, you know, if you try to write it down in power tower. But um, these things hard to write down even in terms of power tower. Um, so, I mean, again, even 10 arrows, 11 arrows, I mean, which is small compared to G2. Uh, but it's again a very very messy already. I think a lot of people kind of underestimate these numbers uh, Some people say, you know, can you try to comprehend how big is grams number again grams number is g64. It's not g2 um, So basically I even though grams number is pretty small in in the world of Googleology But again, it's again way beyond anything can imagine if you think you know how big that is you probably don't um, these numbers of, I mean, even the smallest number, some of the smallest number in Googleology is already very mind blowing. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.